Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the Washington Redskins. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. for Samaj P. Ryan. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Now Kaiser. He finds P. Ryan out of the backfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Flex round! Flex round! A first down throw for Kaiser. Guys, man, complete over the middle. That's Richardson. And yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Cut. First down, Kaiser. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second go. down. On second down, Kaiser again. And he rifles one incomplete. Samaj P. Ryan, the intended target. And it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut Let's the play go. down. Let's so back-to-back -to -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Kaiser yet again. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Michael Bannon in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. for 24 yards and that's one of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket firing over the middle he can really see everything clearly it is and i know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways all right you don't have to be his height to make a great play but what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Great, great. Now a play fake here on first down. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
Brandon, I think we can see early on they're making a concerted effort to get him the football. So to me, that means they like the matchup that they have. They feel like he's better than the guys that are covering him. Two plays, two passes. We'll see if they go back to that well. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First is Wentz. He's going to wind up and air it out. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Great 15, great 15. Back to the air on second down. Wins. Burks over the middle. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now Wentz on third down. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Great 15, great 15. They'll run it now, out of the gun. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Great, great. From the gun on third down, wins. Trying for the tight end. Ertz, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. They start on the ground with T-Run. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run it here with p -Ron. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Ohio! Ohio! From the gun, Kaiser. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as... as Looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage. And it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown. Marshall now, the return. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you're looking at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Here's P. Ryan. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Kaiser now from the 50. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he's got this down to the 35. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Kaiser now, 6 of 10 of this first down. He's got his guys a first down here. A toss play. Here's P. Ryan. A nice move he had, but can't break away. And he's brought down just inside the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Might 
have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Now he'll escape to his left. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jamison Crowder, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Now for the point after. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Wins to throw on second down. He's going to launch this thing way down. He's got a man complete. A gain of 32 that time. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. Shorty, shorty, shorty. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. to play in a tightly contested first half. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. his way forward here for a modest game. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Here we go. Here we go. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Come on now, come on now, let's go. Never be a fumble 
from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Kaiser now on second down. Dancing to his left. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the shotgun, it's Kaiser. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about it. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team, because now your defense has to make that stand up. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. In there, After the in incomplete there, pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's a giant. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the ten. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Lion, lion, lion. Great 15. Great 15. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Here's a handoff to Spoles to start the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. This is a giant. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. He could muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. 82, 82. Great 15, great 15. On play action, it's Wentz. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
Matt Ioannidis in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. And that'll be marked down as their first sack of the game. Well, they had six last week, and this offense did its homework, didn't it? Because they saw all that pressure, and they really worked hard to tamp it down and beat it back, and they did a great job in the first half. And now they've gotten their first sack here in the second half. Look out. We'll try to increase the pressure. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Ohio! Ohio! Cut. The drive starts with a handoff to Piron. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get Flex deeper round. in the game. Second down, Kaiser. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. First target, first catch, and a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain Ohio, nonetheless. Ohio. Let's go! One, nine. Now a carry for Piran. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction. Second and 15. They'll throw here. Kaiser on the catch. It's Crowder. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and they're going to have a third down. The Redskins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Working out of the gun. Here's Kaiser. Flush to his right. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? So it's not an NFL record, but it's not far off. That'll go in the books as a 61-yard field goal. And wasn't it weird to see a guy line up for a field goal on the other side of midfield? The ball got halfway there, and you thought, no way is that going to make it. But it just kept carrying and carrying, and he winds up sneaking it right over the bar. Sunday, Sunday. 82, 82. On first and ten, here's Wentz. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Jonathan Allen in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Well, the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Wentz going to throw. He's going to air one out. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 82. Now wins. 
Going to look deep for Jeffrey. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Monte Nicholson picks it. It's P. Ryan to begin the drive. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Again, here's P. Ryan. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation Black nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a tendency breaker. And he slides to avoid the hit. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll run it now out of the gun. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but Ohio! there are times Ohio! this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that no. run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field, incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! Cut. A second down throw now for Kaiser. He sets to fire deep. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because uh -huh. here we are season in December. Of giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because so I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. In his own end zone, it's Wentz. He's going to look deep down the field. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. 
Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, it puts a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball, and that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, anyone, contesting anyone? everything. From his end zone, it's Wentz on third and long. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Following the interception, Kaiser. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox in there to get him, and that's sack number six for him on the year. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 11 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. A great Monday night to wrap up the week in football. Two division rivals and a great finish ahead as we come up on first and ten. No gain on the play there. Second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Flipping left side, it's complete. He's got it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. To throw, Kaiser. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Paul Warlow able to drop him for a loss of four. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. They'll run again with Piran, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Only able to pick up a yard, and that's going to leave him with a long fourth and goal. Let's just give credit where it belongs. The defensive front has out-leveraged the offensive guys trying to block them. We often say low man wins in tough situations. That's exactly what's happened here. Three straight runs, and they haven't been able to get into the end zone. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? 
Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Yeah, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter is about it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. Third and long, it's Wins. Drops it on to Ajayi. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Now P. Ryan. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. A tight game like this, Mario, such Mario. a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand back. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On first down, Wentz. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jones. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners who have the receivers on lockdown. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Brandon Graham in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. 
They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And on the ground they go with a running back. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. The Redskins send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Matt Ioannidis. In there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Back-to-back -back big plays defensively. First the sack. Now they force the incompletion on third and long. Things looking pretty good for them. And this is where they have to be careful because they've got the momentum going their way. They will be really amped up to get to the quarterback. Look out. Draw, screen, something that can be used against them. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Troy Apke. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. They toss to Pirine. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The near court to Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball caught free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Washington... The streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead, they fall to 5-7. And, and they'll try to get back on track next week as they head to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. 
So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm